So, today is August 1st, the year 2009, and I am 31, and we are sitting in a little house in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, no less, centre of the universe, um, and I just wanted to see if this worked, because I'd like to email things to my parents and family. <coughs> oh, Excuse me. Bless you. She just, just sneezed. Sorry, I do apologise. It's completely ruined my video now. <laughs> oh no, what am I going to do? Um, I've had a lovely birthday. What did you do in your birthday cake? What did I do? Would you like to come in and say yes. hi? Yes, hi. What did you do? Hi. Well, this is what I did. We had donuts, then we went to the zoo, then we had a sleep, then I had a bit of a meltdown, and then <laughs> we went out for... Mel meltdown on our birthday, highly Then we went out for a barbecue with our new friends, Jess, yes. Mo Jess and Daniel Moser yes. and Gary and Greg. We pay them lots of money to be our friends. I know, they're really nice, and I don't know why they like to be our friends but they do we love them very much and our kids were rather wild at two o'clock and three o'clock this afternoon and Kay had to mm. leave the house i just had to leave Stuart had to deal i with went it. to the piggly wiggly which if you move to america Stuart's it's had a quality to deal with grocery a store Stuart's had to deal with a lot have you yeah oh. especially being married to you but <sighs> did you hear that everybody <laughs> that knows me back home <laughs> all right so just seeing if this works love you bye Okay, Kayla has asked me to do um, a tour of the UK and I thought it'd be quite fun to do a tour of the UK um, with, in accent form. So I'm going to go very quickly around each of the cities in a different accent. If we start down here with London, which is the capital of um, Great Britain, capital of England, London has two different accents. Um, the Queen's English, one, and a Cockney, another. Queen's English, people speak very, very poshly. Um, the Queen speaks like this and so do most of the royal family. And you might recognise this accent from BBC on the on the television. Um, news reporters often have this accent. And yes, it's known as the Queen's English. So it's a very, very posh, posh accent. The other type of accent in London is um, Cockney. And so people speak like this. And they'd say, you're right, darling, which to us would be, how are you doing? Um, you're right, darling, how is it going? And often, you know, soap operas um, have these sort of accents on them from London. So that is called a Cockney and I don't know if you know um, the chef, Jamie Oliver, who's come over here. He is a Cockney and he's got this sort of an accent. OK, if we move over to Wales, Wales is a separate country within the UK. And Wales is a very beautiful part of the world. Um, people from Wales have a very singy-songy accent. They speak like this. And um, it's a very mountainous place. Ben Snowden is the highest mountain in Wales. So very much like their rugby. They play a lot and lot of rugby and they like their beer as well. OK, if we move up to the UK to a place called um, Liverpool. Liverpool is the home of the Beatles. And people with a Liverpoolian accent are known as a Scouser. And they would say, are you all right? How's it going and that? Um, and often we take the mick out of people from Liverpool because they speak very, very fast. And we can't really understand a lot of what they say. But um, yeah, it's a very industrial town and it's also known for shipbuilding. In fact, I think the Titanic was made in a, or, or sailed from Liverpool. Across from Liverpool is a place called Newcastle, and um, if you're from Newcastle, you're known as a jory, and they would say, are you all right? How's it going? And that. Um, it's a very industrial city as well, and uh, they really like their football, their soccer. Um, so when I was a kid, we watched a soap called Biker Grove, and they'd say, why I? How's it going? So um, it's a very interesting accent. The middle of um, England at the very top is a place called Yorkshire, and if you're from Yorkshire, you speak very, very slowly and you usually work or you own a farm. It's a very farming community, lots and lots of farms and cows and sheep and a hilly area. But it's also a very pretty part of the world. And lots of people come to Yorkshire to go for walks and trails and things. Um, it's a nice area to visit. OK, if we come up here, this is the border to Scotland. So this area up here is Edinburgh. Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland. And if you're from Edinburgh, you've got a very, very lovely accent. Um, Edinburgh is known for um, Edinburgh Castle. And it's also Princess Street, which is a very famous shopping area. And there's lots of heritage in Edinburgh. It's a very busy city. And so that's the capital, Edinburgh. If we go across the water, um, up the side of Scotland, that's the East Coast accent. And places like St Andrews, which was the home of golf, um, where I believe Tiger Woods has played, um, that is a lovely part of um, Scotland with beaches and castles again, um, very green part of the world. St Andrew's University was where um, 
Prince William. For those of you that enjoy the royal family, he went and studied there. It's a famous university, hard to get into, and that's where he met and is going to marry his future bride, Kate Middleton. If we go up the side of Scotland, we hit a place called Aberdeen. And if you're from Aberdeen, you really, really enjoy your football. They really like their football. And they would say to you, um, fit's happening, which to us would be, what's happening? Or how are you doing? And they'd say, fit's happening. And they would say as well, if you're a boy or a girl, you're known as a quine or a loon. So their accent is um, what we call a Tuchter accent, and it's very much the Highlands of Scotland. Um, it's also a place where they discovered a lot of oil. So it's a very rich part of Scotland too. It's known as the Granite City. If we go around the top of Scotland here and then down, this area up here is Inverness. And this is where the famous Loch Ness Monster is supposed to be found. Um, and then if you're from Inverness, you sound like you're speaking through your nose. Um, people from Inverness are very, very friendly, but they live right in the highlands of Scotland. I went to university with a girl who played the bagpipes and she was from Inverness and he, her name was Julie. Um, the top of Scotland, we have some islands up here known as Orkney and Shetland. And then down here, this is Skye, which is a very famous island. And then we have Mull and Oban, which are islands down the west coast. If we come all the way down to here, we can usually get a ferry over to Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, you might be familiar with Ireland. It's a very pretty part of the UK. And um, there's a lot of troubles in Northern Ireland that between Northern Ireland and the South, um, the Catholics and the Protestants. Um, there is the city of Belfast, which is the capital of Northern Ireland. And then into the south of Ireland, they have a different accent. They um, have a very um, sing-songy accent. So Dublin would be how they would speak. And I don't know if you know the band U2, Bono, he is from Dublin. Um, Dublin is a lovely city and a lot of people come to visit Dublin. Um, and you can fly from Dublin right to Chicago. So that is um, Southern Ireland, which actually isn't part of the UK. It's its own um, it's its own country and it doesn't deal in um, sterling money, it deals in um, euros as well. So I hope that was interesting to you. Um, so thanks very much for listening. Bye bye.